And all of a sudden, I started selling between 10 and 15 pairs of pajama jeans a day, <laughs> all Great. the way through the holidays. <laughs> so I want to pull a skeleton out of the closet, Holly. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell us about pajama jeans? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, Holly is about to tell you how her life changed. <laughs> this is another pivotal moment. Um, so, um, so I was writing just a blog and, um, and at that back, and this is many years ago, back what, before there wasn't really any bloggers that were making money. Like there was were this people, like, was this like six months in a year in how long had you been? It blogging? was probably a couple, maybe two years. Um, it, it, yeah, I mean, I, I could probably figure it out by the, you know, the timing of, of, of the pajama jeans that I'm about to tell about. But yeah, it was several years in, but you have to remember, like, I went into this as, hey, I'm like, I'm emailing a friend, like, like, I didn't ever think, oh, this is something. You weren't doing it to make money. I was well, nobody was. Yeah, you were just, just telling a story. Yeah, I was just telling a story. It's kind of a hobby you know, um, it was my community. It was kind of my, yeah, it's just like my hobby kind of thing. So, um, my husband and I, um, we were just laying in bed one night and we kind of like to watch like the, as seen on TV products, like the infomercials. And, um, so we're just bored laying in bed and watching, um, the pajama jean, um, infomercial, which is like, you know, 30 minutes of pajama jean goodness. And, um, so pajama jeans, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> They look like jeans, but they feel like pajamas. I mean, like what more could you ask out of life? And so this whole infomercial was just over the top. Like, you know, these just, uh, you know, people whose lives had been changed by pajama jeans, a little foreshadowing there. All those Walmart shoppers. All those Walmart shoppers. And so at, by the end of the commercial, my husband was just laughing because he's like, you want pajama jeans. I'm like, no, I don't. I absolutely do not want pajama jeans. And he's like, he goes, well, he goes, you could buy them and then write about them on your blog. And he goes, you could, that would, could even be a business expense. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, what is this magical thing where I can shop and pretend like it's business, you know? So so um, I went through the process of purchasing pajama jeans in, you know, to write about them on my blog because I thought, well, if I find it interesting, I think it's hysterical, like, you know, and most of the stuff I wrote was trying to be a little funny or something like that. Um, so I was like, this could be really funny. So I got pajama jeans in, you know, a couple weeks later and um, I didn't hate them as much as I thought I would, but they were not something... I've never worn them in, well, I've worn them in public once, but it was because they were pajama jeans. And, um, and so like I got them and then I thought, well, you know, I kind of want to write the blog post about kind of why I bought it. So, so like I took the kind of the infomercial and I in, found the YouTube video on YouTube and embedded it in the blog post. And then it was like, you know, um, I took every line of their major, you know, say, um, selling points. Um, and I kind of counteract it with my own. So like, you know, looks like jeans. And then I put my little two cents in and then like feels like pajamas. And I put my, so it was basically, um, what I was doing unknowingly was crafting one of the best search engine optimized posts of all time. Interesting. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, I didn't even know what that meant. So I just wrote this thing about pajama jeans and how like they're kind of ridiculous. And then, um, and then, you know, I was just laughing about it, P post a picture of myself in the pajama jeans and posted it. And my readers thought it was hysterical. Like it was like, you know, I became the pajama jean girl. Um, like they all thought it was super funny. I started doing other as seen on TV products because this had gone so well. And then, um, and then I noticed that like, and this is back in the olden days of blogging where like traffic was not even something we even thought about that much. And like, I might get maybe, you know, 10,000 blog, blog views in a month. Um, but all of a sudden I was getting hundreds of thousands of blog post views on the pajama jeans um, um, uh, post. And I was like, that's really weird. 
I wonder where that traffic is coming from. And so I looked into it and realized that it was coming from Google. Google was sending me all sorts of traffic every single day on, for pajama jeans. And then I like, was like, oh my gosh, if I have traffic, I need to put up some ads. So like I put up, cause I didn't even have ads on my blog. So I put up some blog, some blog ads because um, there was a, at that time there was, you had to get to a hundred dollar threshold to be paid out for Google ads. And like, you know, that would have been four years prior to pajama jeans. So I was like, oh my gosh, I might, might make it in a, in a month or two, you know, you know, to bring in, I had no idea. And then um, I realized that the re one of the reasons why that this was so, so many people were Googling about pajama jeans is because they, pajama jeans had been like brought in to that pajama gram company that does all those holiday ads. And so they, pajama gram was running a radio um, push on all the radio stations about how you need to like pajama uh, jeans are the best holiday gift. So what people were doing was hearing it on the radio, going and Googling it, and then ending up, cause I was like the only one that said review. I didn't even have the word review, but basically it was my experience with pajama jeans. So people were like, oh, well, I wanna go read that before I buy pajama jeans. So I was like, and I was on the front page of Google for multiple different keyword phrases for pajama jeans. I just didn't know what that meant at that time. But then, so I was getting all this traffic and I'm really happy because I'm like, you know, I'm probably even making, you know, like $3 a day on ads now. And, um, and then I got an email from the affiliate company that was running a pajama jeans. And they said to me, you could put this little, um, this little banner ad at the end of your um, blog post that would sell pajama jeans. And then we will give you $11 per pair of a pajama jeans that you sell. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And then I thought, oh, like, I can't do that. Like, that would be like selling my soul because I don't really like pajama jeans. And like I did, I was like, I can't sell something I don't like. So I had this like moral crisis. And then I thought, well, you know, like my blog post wasn't really that glowing. So I thought, well, I will read through the blog post again and just, you know, see what, and so I read through the blog post again, kind of with like these eyes of someone who never read through it. And I thought, if someone still wants to buy pajama jeans after reading my article, I definitely should profit from that. <laughs> and so I installed the, um, because it just wasn't, it was like, these kind of stuff. I was, it was kind of like my, so I installed the banner and all of a sudden I started selling between 10 and 15 pairs of pajama jeans a day, <laughs> all right. the way through the holidays. <laughs> 